didn't do that for real, <laughs> to be honest. I was just trying to make the tackle, and it just so happened to happen. Yeah. You know? It's the second time it's happened, like, in the last, like, three weeks. Yeah. Is that just... I, I definitely tried to, to do it the first time, yeah. but uh, the second time, you know, it just happened. But like I said earlier, just how um, Coach Washington talks about it, just setting the tone and being nasty and being physical and the point of contact as a linebacker. It's something we try to focus on in our unit every chance we get. Baron, it seems like you've really taken a step forward. That's what coaches have said, too. Like, it seems like maybe the lights kind of come on for you this year. What what changed for you? Was it just, was this, is it a mental thing that you kind of like something clicked this year? Or what, what's the difference between this year and last year for you? Uh, I definitely think my mental approach, for sure. You know, definitely just, you know, the things I do to prepare for the game. Just constantly meeting with Coach Washington and just, you know, adapting his way of thinking and just listen to everything he tells me, you know, and he hasn't steered me wrong, and I know he's not going to steer me wrong, so I'm just going to continue to listen to him, continue to uh, just adapt his mindset. What, what has he brought to that room, Coach Washington? Is it is it, is it different than this last year in some way, or is it what, – like, what's different this year for him with the under Coach Washington? Uh, like I said before, I really just feel like his mindset and just uh, the mindset he wants us to adapt and the mindset he constantly pushes towards us to have, like I said, like just being physical at the point of contact and being nasty and just, you know, being felt every play and sending a message every play. And I think that's something that's resonated with us a lot and something we try to focus on. And just every opportunity we get to get better, just continue to get better. You know, when people try to tell us, like, we're doing good, you know, block all that out and just keep our head down and keep working. And what's it like? And basically, every game you guys have had a quarter like you had today where you guys have kind of exploded and taken the game over. What do you think it is that allows you guys? in all phases of the game to kind of take a game over so quickly like that? I really just think the way we practice, we go, we go pretty hard every day, you know, as far as I know offense do and defense, you know. I think just before, like, what we was preaching, we just take it more seriously here just as far as to do that every day in practice, you know. So we focus each day on treating every day like it's a game. And I feel like if you continue to do that, it's just going to keep, you know, having an effect that's been happening. Were you guys surprised with the way the game started? And how did you bounce back from that to end up exploding the way you did? I mean, we knew they was going to give us uh, their best shot. I feel like everybody else would give us their best shot when we play them. So all we could do is just move on to the next play, control what we control. Was there a specific moment where you felt like you guys had really taken control of the game? Uh, yeah, I feel like when we had the momentum swing back in our favor, you know, and we just went out there and put up points. And was there stopped. a specific play that you felt swung the momentum there? Um, I thought I could just think off off the back for real. Chase had a couple of strip sacks in that in that quarter that kind of seemed like they kind of helped at least swing that game. What does he bring to your defense, and like how much of an impact can he have? Like, I mean, it's eleven guys out there, but it seems like he's he's kind of carrying carrying a lot of the weight out there. I feel like just the whole D line in general make it easy for you know not just the linebackers but the back end because the quarterback doesn't have time to sit back there and go through all his reading progressions. He got to get rid of it fast. So I mean, the efforts of the D line don't go unnoticed, and we appreciate them more than we can ever express. How much you look 